The Polish Armament Agency, Agencja Uzbrojenia, announced a major contract, valued at $2.6 billion, with the South Korean company Hanwha Defense. The agreement involves the acquisition of a total of 152 K9 Thunder 155mm self-propelled howitzers, comprising 6 K9A1 units to be delivered in 2025 and 146 K9 PL units scheduled between 2026 and 2027. The contract involves not only the supply of the 155mm self-propelled howitzers but also includes a training and logistics package. Additionally, Several thousand 155mm ammunition rounds will be delivered as part of this arrangement. As part of the deal, technology transfer to the Polish defense industry will establish industrial capabilities within Poland for the maintenance, renovation, and modernization of the howitzers. This initiative also extends to the production of specific structural elements by entities within the Polish defense industry, facilitating the rapid attainment of the operational capabilities required by the Polish armed forces. Huda Stolowawala, HSW, a key player in the Polish defense sector, is expected to play a vital role in meeting the artillery requirements of the Polish army, as talks have been initiated with HSW to explore possibilities for increasing the supply of Crab 155mm self-propelled howitzers, as reported by Army Recognition on August 3, 2023. This announcement is part of a broader program aimed at replacing the aging 2S1 Gostzik 122mm self-propelled howitzers currently in service with the Polish Army, as reported by Army Recognition on November 28, 2023. The initial framework agreement, signed on July 27, 2022, outlined plans for the acquisition of a total of 672 K9A1 and K9PL self-propelled howitzers. The decision to upgrade the artillery capabilities of the Polish army is based on lessons learned from the conflict in Ukraine, recognizing the critical importance of artillery in both quantity and quality. There is a strategic concern that by 2027 to 2028, Russia could regain its ability to conduct large-scale operations outside Ukraine, leading the Polish Ministry of Defense, based on recommendations from the General Staff and the General Command of Armed Forces, to announce an objective of over 1,155mm howitzers for the Polish Army. The modernization effort is also driven by production challenges and the need to standardize artillery calibers within NATO. The transition from 122mm to 155mm ensures better ammunition availability and aligns with NATO standards. Simultaneously, on December 1, 2023, the Agencia Uzbrojenia concluded a separate contract for the acquisition of more than a thousand accompanying vehicles for the self-propelled howitzers used by the Polish Armed Forces. This framework agreement, involving Polska Grupa Zbrojenia, PGZ, and Huda Stoloa Walla, HSW, outlines the acquisition of these hundreds of vehicles between 2023 and 2030. These vehicles will be crucial for equipping divisions with command vehicles, ammunition vehicles, technical security vehicles, and others necessary for the effective functioning of the howitzers. All these vehicles will be integrated with the Topaz Combat Management System. The K9PL, derived from the South Korean K9 Thunder 155mm self-propelled howitzer, weighs 46,300 kg, can reach a top speed of 67 km per hour, and possesses a range of 360 km. It includes an OBRA, three laser warning system, smoke grenade launchers, a CBRN protection system, a heater, internal and external communication systems, a manual fire suppression system, and an automatic fire control system. Notably, a portion of the ordered K9 PLs will undergo a process of crabification, integrating technologies and components from the Crab 155mm self-propelled howitzer, of which 18 units were recently delivered to Ukraine. Moreover, a strategic initiative is underway to launch the production of Crab 2 in 2027, building on experiences gained in Ukraine, which will feature increased automation and reduced crew numbers.